Hello there, Mr. Sutton here, bringing you the AB Calculus 3.5 Extra Practice Number 2 Solutions on Product and Quotient Rules. On this problem, they're asking us to find F prime without using the product or quotient rule. So that means we need to simplify first and then use probably the power rule. So it looks like we can divide both of these terms in the numerator by this denominator of x cubed. So going from left to right, 3x squared over x cubed, that's going to be 3x to the negative 1. And if we have negative 1 over x cubed, I can rewrite that as negative x to the negative 3. Going through and using the power rule now, this first one, this is going to be negative 3 x to the negative 2. And then for this next one, this will be positive 3 x to the negative 4. For this one, they want us to find f prime of this product without actually using the product rule. So let's go ahead and simplify this and then use the power rule. Before I do that, though, let me turn this radical x into an x to the 1 half power. And in here, we'll make this 2x to the 1 half, make it a little bit easier to use the power rule. Now let's go ahead and distribute this x to the 1 half. So x to the 1 half times 2x squared, that's going to be 2x to the 5 halves. And then we'll have minus 4x to the 1 half. And then finally, this will be 2x to the just the 1, 1 half plus 1 half. Well, that works out nicely. So going through and actually using the power rule now, for this first one, we've got 2 times 5 halves, which is just 5x to the 3 halves. Next, 1 half of 4 is 2, so this is minus 2x to the negative 1 half. And then finally, uh, this plus 2x just becomes plus 2. To take the derivative of this one without using the product or quotient rule, we're going to have to simplify first. So we can do that by distributing, or foiling if you will. So we've got 3x times x squared, giving us 3x cubed. 3x times 2 is 6x. And then this is going to be negative 8x squared. And then finally, minus 16. So going through and just taking each of these derivatives, and I'm just going to do it in the order that I see here. I'm not going to bother putting it in decreasing order of exponents. So we've got 9x to the second plus 6. And I'm just using the power rule here. And then finally, minus 16x. This negative 16 here just becomes 0 because it's a constant. For this problem, they want us to find f prime specifically using the product or quotient rule. So this is one you could definitely simplify and distribute and use the power rule on if all you were trying to do was find f prime. But they want you to practice the technique of these different rules. So let's go ahead and use it. So to do that, uh, this is a product. So let me write out the product rule. u prime v plus uv prime. Not necessary to write it out, but it's nice to know where things are going to go. And then I'm going to set up my box and ribbon here. So I've got my two factors, radical x, which I'll call x to the 1 half, and 2x squared minus 5x. Now down below, I'm going to take their derivatives. Derivative of x to the 1 half, so this is u prime I'm finding here. That would be 1 half x to the negative 1 half power. And then derivative of 2x squared minus 5x, that's going to be 4x minus 5. So now I'm just going to use the ribbon to put it all together in the same order that I have over here. So I've got for a u prime v, that's going to be 1 half x to the negative 1 half, parentheses, 2x squared minus 5x. And then I'm going the other way with the ribbon. So this is going to be plus x to the 1 half, parentheses, 4x minus 5. On this problem, they want us to find the derivative of this product specifically by using the product rule. The, pa the fastest way to do this would probably just be to distribute the 4x cubed and use the power rule. But they want you to demonstrate that you know how to use the product rule in this one. So let's write that out. That would be u prime v plus uv prime. And then to organize things, I'll set up a box and ribbon for this. So I've got my two factors, 4x cubed and also this big polynomial, 2x to the fifth minus x to the fourth plus 2. Now down below, let me take the derivatives u prime and v prime. So for 4x cubed, that's going to be 12x squared. And for this next one here, that's going to be, let's see, 10x to the fourth minus 4x cubed. And that 2, thankfully, just goes away because the derivative of a constant is 0. So now let me use the ribbon to multiply things out in the order I need. So for my first uh, term here, I've got 12x squared. 
parentheses 2x to the fifth minus x to the fourth plus 2. And then going the other way for uh, uv prime, I've got 4x cubed, parentheses 10x to the fourth minus 4x cubed. And they said I don't need to simplify, so I'm just going to leave that the way it is. On this one, they want me to find f prime using the product or quotient rule. Probably the fastest way to just take the derivative of this thing would be to distribute this out and use the power rule. Um, but let me use the product rule because that's what they want to see. So that would be u prime v minus, or actually plus, u v prime. So let me set up the box and ribbon to organize all this. I've got u and v, my two factors. So that would be 5x to the fourth minus 2 up here. And up here, I'll have negative x to the fifth plus 3. Down below, I've got u prime and v prime. So down here, this is going to be 20x to the third. And then uh, derivative of negative 2 is just 0. Down here, I've got negative 5x to the fourth. And now just multiplying all this out in the, the ribbon formation here. So I've got 20x cubed times negative x to the fifth plus 3. That's my u prime v. And then uv prime, I'm coming the other way here. So that's going to be 5x to the fourth minus 2 in a parentheses times negative 5x to the fourth. And we're adding all that stuff. And they said we didn't have to simplify, so this is algebraically equivalent to whatever answer they wanted to see. For this problem, they want us to find f prime using the product or quotient rule. Now, this is one where if you could use any technique you wanted, it would probably be faster just to divide all of these things by the cube root of x and then use the power rule. But since they want to see the quotient rule, let's go ahead and use that. So that's going to be uh, u prime v minus u v prime over v squared. You don't get anything for writing this out, but I think it's helpful to, just so you know where things are going to end up. And now let me set up my box and ribbon just to organize things. So I've got my numerator in the upper left. That's the u. That's going to be x squared minus x plus 1. And in the upper right, I've got my denominator, cube root of x, which I'm going to write as x to the one-third power just to make it easier to take the derivative in a sec. Now down below, I've got u prime and v prime. So for u prime, that's going to be 2x minus 1. And then that plus 1 just goes away because derivative of a constant is 0. Down in the lower right, this is v prime. So this is going to be one-third x to the negative two-thirds. And now let me just multiply all that in a ribbon formation here. So I've got 2x minus 1 times x to the 1 third. That's my u prime v. And then coming back the other way, I've got parentheses x squared minus x plus 1 times 1 third x to the negative 2 thirds. And I'm subtracting all of that. And then finally, I'm going to tie off my ribbon here by squaring this term up here. This is the v squared. So I've got x to the one-third squared. They said we didn't have to simplify, so I'm going to take them at their word and just leave that the way it is. For this problem, I'm trying to find the derivative of this function. Now this quotient, really the only way to do this is by using the quotient rule. There's no way to simplify this in a way that you can use the power rule on it. Uh, so let me set that up. We've got u prime v minus u v prime all over v squared. And I'm going to use the box and ribbon over here to organize things. So I've got my numerator, 2x plus 5. Denominator, 3x minus 2. And their derivatives, which are going to be 2 and 3. So that's not so bad. Multiplying this out in the ribbon now, we've got two parentheses, 3x minus 2. That's the u, v, or the u prime v. And then going the other way, we have parentheses 2x plus 5 times 3. And we're subtracting all that because it's minus uv prime. And then finally, we have v squared, which is going to be 3x minus 2 squared. No need to simplify, so let's leave it the way it is. On this problem, I'm trying to find f prime. Now, there's no way to simplify this in a way that I could use the power rule. Um, so I'm going to have to just use the quotient rule on this quotient. So that's u prime v minus uv prime over v squared, just to write it out. And my box and ribbon over here, I'm going to use this to organize things. In the upper left, I've got my numerator, 3x to the fifth plus 4x to the fourth. And denominator goes in the upper right, so that's 5x squared minus 5 going over here. Down below, I've got the derivatives of these two items. 
So down in the lower left, this is going to be 15x to the fourth plus 16x to the third. And over here, down here, I've got uh, 10x. So using the ribbon to multiply things out, I've got parentheses 15x to the fourth plus 16x cubed times another parentheses 5x squared minus 5. So that whole thing is going to be u prime v. And then going the other way for u v prime, I've got parentheses 3x to the fifth plus 4x to the fourth times 10x, and we're subtracting all that. Down below, I've got v squared, so tying off the ribbon here. That's going to be 5x squared minus 5, quantity squared. They said I didn't have to simplify, so why would I? For this problem, we have a table of values for f, f prime, g, and g prime. And we're told that another function, h of x, is the product of f of x and g of x. Based off of that, we want to find h prime of 4. Um, so basically, I need to find h prime of x and then plug 4 into it. Since h is a product and there's no way to really simplify this and use a different rule, I'm going to go ahead and use the product rule, u prime v plus uv prime. Let me set up a box and ribbon to organize things. So I've got my two factors, f of x and g of x. And what are the derivatives of those? Well, this is kind of easy. It's just going to be f prime of x and g prime of x. So I'm going to actually plug in 4 inside the box. So I'm going to make another box over here for the situation where x equals 4. Now, if x equals 4, what is f of x going to be? f of 4, looking that up in the table here, that's going to be, well, 4. OK. How about if g, e g of x for uh, x equals 4? g of 4 down here is 1. And then we need f prime of 4. That'll go in the lower left here. So that's going to be 2, looking that up in the table. And then g prime of 4 down here is going to be negative 1. Using the ribbon to multiply this out, I'm going to have 2 times 1 plus 4 times negative 1. That's 2 minus 4, which comes out to negative 2.